Hello everyone, this is Josef Notch here and after this video you will run your first open foam case on your own. Promise. Here you see the finished results of the simulation. What you will do, you will move around a passive scalar in a two-dimensional geometry. You will take a circle and within this circle you'll have a passive scalar of 1 and everywhere else 0. And you will move this blob to the right hand side, then into the top right corner and then back into the center. Sounds easy enough. The goals of this tutorial are the following. The main goal is that you run your first simulation on your own. Then uh, the second goal is that you utilize the knowledge that you gained in the previous tutorials, like how to set the initial values, how to set up the boundary conditions, how you create the mesh and the correct mesh refinement, how can you set physical properties, how do you set the numerical settings like time step or the different schemes, and you have to utilize your knowledge about transport equations, you have to know what convection and what diffusion is. And for that, as I showed you before, you will simulate a two-dimensional transport of a passive scalar and post-process the results. You will use the scalar transport foam solver for that, which solves a transport equation for a passive scalar. We used this solver in the previous two tutorials, so if you do not know this solver, go back and watch those videos. And I also talked about the theory, about the transport equation, about the convection and the diffusion term. Go back to the video if you didn't watch it. Now the case, this is a schematic sketch of the case that you will set up and solve you will create a two-dimensional domain with a length of 10 meters and a width of 10 meters. And you will put in a scalar into the center with a circular shape. And this circle has a diameter of 2 meters. And within this circle you will set your scalar to be 1 and everywhere else the scalar is 0. Then you will move this circle to the right hand side by 4 meters. Then you will move this circle to the top right corner and back into the center. Before I stop recording here, I give you a couple of hints. Use set fields to set up the scalar, you will need a circle and not a box, so take care. Then watch out for the boundary conditions and convect your circle with a velocity of 1 meters per second. Now, I didn't give any instructions on that. You can also use a different velocity. Important is that you move your scalar to the right hand side and then to the top and back into the center. This is just a suggestion, this velocity here. Then take care of your mesh refinement and please use a reasonable simulation time. Do not simulate for weeks, this is just a tutorial case. Reasonable simulation times are a couple of seconds, minutes, but do not uh, use a finer mesh and do not simulate for hours or days. Of course, later on when you're doing actual CFD simulations, reasonable simulation times will be in the order of magnitude of hours or days or weeks, but this is just a tutorial case, so set your delta t's reasonably. Then another point, delete your phi file in the last time step before you change the velocity. If you think back, you have your passive scalar t, your velocity in your time folders, and you have a phi. 
and delete this in the last time step before you change the velocity. Then take care of your Corona number, but this is what I mentioned here, reasonable simulation settings and reasonable simulation times. And think about your discretization scheme. And uh, please do not watch the second part of this tutorial before you do the simulation on your own. This is a very important learning step. If you get stuck, then watch the video to the point where you got stuck and then continue your simulations without the video. And once you finish, then watch my way of solving this problem. Okay, so now I will stop this video. I hope you understand the case setup. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.